I love the enthusiasm here, and you are right. It's just difficult for a high schooler to get into research-level mathematics, especially if you are on your own and you're trying to just read and try to come up with a problem by yourself. That is tough. I think there could be some problems that you could work on if you were being advised by a research mathematician. If someone has an idea of a project that you work on that you could help with, some data or some patterns to try to figure out what is happening in something that is uh, amenable to elementary explanations so you, that you can sort of understand what's going on and try to contribute by looking into patterns, number patterns, things about prime numbers, sequences. Um, there could be some problems that you could help with. But without the supervision of someone that can lead you and give you some idea and sort of like extract a little piece out of a big problem for you to work on um, just on your own to find a problem to work with, it is tough. I have advised some students, but when I advise undergraduates to do research with me in my area, in number theory in particular, there is a lot of background that students need to know about how to write proofs, about abstract algebra, about elementary number theory, before they can get into some more advanced topics. And I have done research with students, but these students were juniors or seniors in college, so they had already had a lot of like more advanced courses in mathematics so that they could help and really understand what was going on in my research. And even in that case, I had to break down some piece that was at their level. But at any rate, you don't have to produce novel research mathematics at this time, at this stage in your mathematical career. You could just be learning stuff, trying to get ahead by learning material that could get you to be at the position of doing research with a mathematician when you get to college. So at this time, I would suggest that you learn more about proofs, how to write proofs and how to read proofs. For example, with a book about proofs uh, that you learn about, say, elementary number theory with a book on elementary number theory, that you read about logic, that you read about differential equations, that you read about um, analysis. So there are books that are the books that are for undergraduates. If you have some background in proofs, for example, then there is a lot of books that could be at your level that you could be interested in. By the way, there are books that are exactly about open problems. So you could go through these problems and see if any of the problems are at your level and start thinking about one of them.